What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today we're gonna start the build on the Super Claude Buster from Tamiya. So let's get started. All right guys, so what I've chosen as far as electronics go is gonna be, I'm not gonna use these 540 cans. I'm gonna go ahead and go with these 550 cans. These are Red Cat uh, motors and they're a little bit more powerful than the stock ones that it comes with. And as far as the radio goes, went with this radio here, just because it has a third channel, maybe hook lights or some sound kit, something like that, just a, as an option. Now, uh, here's the electronic speed controller that it comes with. I don't think it's LiPo compatible. I didn't see anywhere in the instructions on that. If you guys know any more about it, you guys can always link, let me know. But uh, that's, what I, that's what I'm gonna go with as of right now. Also, I'm gonna go with this little Hexfly servo for the time being, maybe step it up down the road, but I'm gonna go with that one as well. And this is just kind of an example. You know, this is a nickel metal hydride battery, 2000 milliamp. I'm gonna go with something bigger than this, but for now, that's what I'm gonna kind of use. Now, let's go ahead and get started on to the build. I just wanna kind of go over it. I've already kind of picked the parts and everything like that. In this build, I'm gonna go ahead, you guys can leave a comment down below. Say, oh, I like to, do, I like to see the time lapse of you kind of putting it together, or I don't care, as long as you, know, you show the parts, what you're gonna to use to put that section together, and then put it together. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way where I pick the parts, put it together and then I'll move to the next step. So you'll see how that one goes, you guys can leave a comment. Anyway, when it comes to the bags, I've already kind of organized stuff here as well. But in the back of the manual, it does go, well, here's the back of the manual anyhow. So you can look here and say, oh, um, the metal parts bag. So if you go over, you can see all the parts, you know, you got the screw bags, all the different ones like the screw bag B, you got A over here, and these are all the parts that come in that particular bag. So everything's kind of organized, very organized on that part of it. Everything is sized correctly, so that means that screw will be exactly that same size. So that's nice on that that they do that. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead, without further ado, let's get this thing going, because uh, I'm eager to get this thing built. So let's get started. All right, quick FYI, I've already powered up my servo here. That way it's set to zero. That way it's not going to left or right, it's just dead center. I've also chosen my correct servo horn that's gonna work with the spline of the servo. And obviously I've already chosen, I've already picked up my picked out my parts that I need for this particular first build on number two. Now I've already powered everything up, so again, we're good to go on that part, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this stuff up so that we can get this thing going because I'm excited to get this thing on the road, have a little fun with it. All right guys, so I got everything that I need for this particular number three. And you wanna make sure that you do this exactly, I'll kind of lay it out anyhow. But you can see the diagram, how they have like, this one particular one goes this way and then there's another one that's going this way. You know, so you wanna make sure that you kind of laid out that same exact way, they even show it in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, assemble it, get my servo mounted up onto this little plate here get this thing going all right so i got the steering rods to length and there is a difference between one side and the other so if you're looking at it here you can see if you'll focus that side's bigger and if you flip it around that's a smaller side so obviously that's got to go onto that little uh, right here onto the uh, ball end or ball connector so that's where you want to press it on that way Anyway, just kind of show you that, just in case you guys are trying to force it on one direction and actually there is a difference between one side and the other. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Let's figure I'd let you guys know. All right, just wanna let you guys know also, these little screws that are here, there's in the same little A bag, there are some that are a little bit longer. So you wanna make sure that you get the right screw. So make sure it's identical to the same length here because I almost grabbed the wrong ones. I was like, oh, whoa, those are not the right size. They don't match up the picture. So you gotta make sure you get the right ones. Also, this little plate here, sorry, that thing's magnetized. Um, you wanna get that because it does show it here, so, but it doesn't show it like these are where you're gonna get the parts, so this is what you need to go for. It's a little bit weird how they do it. Sometimes they just kinda throw, here's a random part, throw it in there, and uh, you gotta make sure that you get that part as well and so you can build this thing correctly. Anyway, um, also, Right here they show you that you have to cut these little tabs off. I've already done that on mine, but they're right here on the chassis. There'd be one here, one here. Don't cut the little notch that's right there, but there's another tab that would be here and over here. So anyway, all right, I'm getting excited, getting closer. So let's get this thing put together. 
All right, so I have it all assembled here, as you can see. And also, if I flip that over, you can see that plate that's in there as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and next page here. So I'll go ahead and I'll get the parts ready for on this sheet here, then we'll continue on. All right, so now that I have all my parts here, all laid out. So we're good on that one. Just make sure you have your chassis in the right direction. So we're gonna be working on the front bumper as of right now, and this is the front of the chassis. The way I have everything kind of positioned. So yeah, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and get everything assembled here. All right, so I didn't. I was missing one of the little chassis braces, we'll say, that goes across here for the uh, body mounts uh, in the last little clip right before this one. So just to kind of let you know. So as you can see here, I'll kind of get it so you guys can see a little bit how it's laid out. So the, the front of the vehicle, the, the posts are taller, and then the rear, they're shorter. All right, so, and then also just kind of showing you here. So everything's installed on that part of it. Servo has been mounted. So we're making progress little by little. All right, let's get going. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put part of our battery cover that's gonna go on here. So we can see all the parts. I have all the parts laid out here. Now, as far as the drive shafts go too, they do say, they call it here, they have BS4 and you have BS5. You'll notice like one has a pin in it and one has more of a hole in it. So you wanna make sure that you grab both of those because those are gonna go into this transmission case here. As I've picked that out, um, you need to get the grease as well. So you need to grease up the drive shafts here. Now on mine, I already went opted, like I said, for bearings. So these blue ones, you would have the plastic ones that would be coming out of here which would be out of the D bag. So anyway, um, just to kind of let you know on that part of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing assembled. So that took a little bit longer. Um, I didn't tell you guys, yeah, I might as well just do all four of these things because uh, you know, you're gonna have to on the next page. So I don't know why they don't, they did double up stuff here, but they didn't kind of show you the other half. And the other half is on the next page as far as that part of the uh, transmission cover. So anyway, I just got it all done here. You can take a look at it, how it's all done. Got that little battery, part of the battery box finished. You can see in there as well. So yeah, and I just, again, the same thing. But you can notice like as far as the shafts go, like one side has more of that pin and the other one has the hole that's there. So yes, however you wanna call it, female, male. Anyway, all right, let's get on to the next page here. All right, so I have everything laid out here. Just start to kind of put a little bit of grease on the pins that are there, just to kind of get started. But yeah, you'll need to put grease in those all little spots there. Also these little spacers, if you notice here, B12, so you just have to get it on your little parts tree. And I go ahead and clip those out of there. Um, also, just to kind of let you guys know, on this, these are the bearings, but in your kit, you will receive these little bushings that are here. So this to kind of let you know, that's where you're gonna get them from. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and after 13, we'll flip this over, we'll go to 14 just to get to the transmission, get it assembled, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop, and then we'll continue with the part two of putting the motor in and, and continuing on, so you guys know. All right guys, so I got this, this particular transmission front or rear doesn't really matter but uh yeah I got it all assembled and I'm gonna assemble the other one I just wanted to make sure and I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that little screw that has to go in there as well so make sure you don't assemble your transmission without that anyway uh yep so here it is so far and I'm gonna continue on when we get to well we'll start on 15 in part two anyway as always, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.